Now we're going to go to an ABC News exclusive. The estranged husband, husband of a New York City police officer is now speaking out, saying his ex hired a hitman to kill him, and he had to play dead to stay alive. ABC's mm. TJ Holmes sat down with him, and TJ, you're here with this incredible story. This is a bizarre story. We're talking about a veteran New York police officer, once named Officer of the Month in her precinct, and a mother of two is sitting in jail without bond this morning because of what prosecutors say is overwhelming evidence that she tried to hire someone to kill her husband. Even though the plan, police say, had been in place for months, the husband only found out about it a few days ago when police told them that they needed his help. They needed him to fake his own death. I didn't want to believe it, but apparently it's true. What convinced you? When the Fed staged my death. Isaiah Carvalho was supposed to be dead by now, according to this criminal complaint that alleges his estranged wife of four years, an NYPD officer, orchestrated a murder-for-hire plot in which he was one of two intended targets. I was shocked. I was taken back by the whole thing. I didn't know how to react. Federal investigators say 34-year-old Valerie Cincinnelli, a 12-year NYPD veteran, asked her boyfriend to hire a hitman to kill not only her estranged husband, Carvalho, but also her boyfriend's teenage daughter, allegedly giving him $7,000 to pay the hitman. But instead, investigators say Cincinnelli's boyfriend turned to authorities and agreed to have his conversations with her recorded by the FBI. Details of the alleged plan laid bare in the criminal complaint including where and when she is said to have wanted the murders to take place, saying it would not look suspicious because the murder would take place in the hood or the ghetto, and that if she was questioned by police, she would have nothing to worry about because she would be home at the time of the murders. Cincinnati had allegedly been plotting since February, but Carvalho only found out Friday when police showed up at his home with a request. They ended up taking me to an undisclosed location and had me fake my death and took pictures of it. What was that like for you? The craziest thing I ever had to experience in my life. What did they have you do that morning? They had me sit in my car. They put glass on the floor and all over me and had me hunch over into the passenger seat. As part of the FBI sting, detectives went to Cincinnati's home to say her husband was murdered. And later, FBI agents, posing as the hitman, text the fake death photos for her to see. She was arrested a short time later after allegedly discussing an alibi with her boyfriend. Cincinnati's family has come to her defense this week. I guarantee you my daughter is innocent of this. If or when, maybe I should say, you have an opportunity to speak to her again. What are you itching to say to her? Why? You don't seem to have the faintest idea of why right now. No. Now, Cincinnati has not entered a plea. Again, she is being held without bond at this point. A lot of questions, but the family, the father you heard there, he said there's something else going on and believes she's possibly being set up by her boyfriend in some way in this whole case. But he it's was a, the one that went to the police, right? He was the one that went to the police. FBI. But again, the, the, the father just swears that there's something else going on with the boyfriend. So he's putting that out there. But the, the husband there, the estranged husband you hear from, he can't come up with anything. They've been mm. together for all these years. They've gone through a divorce. It's been going on right, for about right, a year right. and a half. He said it's not contentious. They were supposed to go to court next month and finalize things. So he said that had been wrapped up. He still is racking his brain to figure out why she would do this and why she was possibly even capable. You called it bizarre before you start. It makes it even more bizarre it's to hear a that. It's curious case, guys. That's how it plays out. Wow. All right, TJ, thank you. you Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.